issues whatsoever. And that's, uh, that's, you know, that's 500 like design engineers uh, on, and they're all sharing 100 megabit Ethernet link. So um, each use case, um, you know, each company um, has different uh, applications that would require different bandwidth um, criteria. So it's really, really is one thing to, uh, to bear in mind. So, so it's sorry to bang on about the point, but I always get asked, well, how much bandwidth do you use? And, and it really does depend on your applications. It depends on how much real estate is, is, uh, is changing on the screen. Uh, uh, portability, um, you know, disaster recovery is a big thing for finance. Um, because we can work uh, PC over IP, it just goes out of the standard network, right? You know, it, it's really video over the IP network. Um, but what we do is, is, you know, we provision for the USB and the, and the bi-directional audio too. Um, your data center can be in the next building, can be in the next city, frankly. And we, you know, we're actually running um, somebody's uh, blade in, in New York with the uh, Zero client in London. Um, and a perfectly reasonable user experience. I think we had a 70 millisecond delay. Uh, there was a perfectly uh, decent user experience. So if you think about that, you know, all I need is my portal, right? If, it, if I got my data center or dual data centers and they're in di different locations, all I am is logging in either through a software client or through the hardware client, wherever I am. I, I can do it for a home. Um, so very useful for disaster recovery. Um, as I said, in terms of latency, frankly, you know, we've, we've run PC over IP. I've actually run the software demo with the VMware Belgium team with over half a second of delay in the system. We just kept ramping it up. We had a, a wide area network uh, simulator, and we just kept ramping up the latency. And it was crazy because we were running RDP side by side with PC over IP, both, both software-based systems. And the RDP system just fell over almost straight away. And we just kept ramping up all the way to half a second of, of latency. So very, very robust across very latent systems. And, you know, if, you're, if you want to run the zero clients, and, and then they're not only, sort of, they don't only come in this sort of flavor, uh, as what looks like a thin client, but, you know, we've actually worked with Samsung now. And Samsung have actually put a chip in the back of their monitor. Very useful for healthcare government. Uh, we've got a couple of universities rolling it out. If you think about it, all you've got is your screen, keyboard, mouse, and an RJ45 in the back. That, that's all you need to provision. So the guys in the university no longer have to screw their PCs to the floor to, so they don't get stolen. Um, in terms of virtualization, I've got a couple more slides to, to talk about the, you know, the virtualized piece. Uh, USB... Um, I think this is the uh, same for the software solution, but there isn't a USB device that we haven't tried that doesn't work. Um, plug anything in and it just works. Um, you know, roll on a little bit. So, you know, thinking about this onion thing again, you know, where, where you've got, uh, you know, your rock stars all the way through to, you know, maybe the girl on the back desk. Yeah. You know, the poor girl on the back desk has, has classically been put in this uh, task worker um, sort of uh, bracket. But, uh, you know, frankly, she gets bored. Why shouldn't she be able to watch a YouTube video or be able to scroll PDFs or look at the, uh, you know, the CRM tool um, and scroll through it? Why shouldn't she have a, a reasonable user experience? Um, Frankly, I'd like to see all users in this knowledge. I, I'm a knowledge worker. You know, I don't class myself up here in, 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 as one of these rock stars. <laughs> um, you know, I run a bit of video, I run some Flash, I run Outlook, um, you know, I run PowerPoint. So I'm in kind of this, this kind of knowledge worker bowl. And really, all of this can now be taken care of with View 4. Um, View 4 is actually a very, very sophisticated tool, particularly with the connection broker. Uh, piece. Uh, and then, you know, of course, you, you're always going to have pockets like the trading floor, um, the artist, the designer, and you know, the account guy, who is going to need that workstation performance, that, you know, very high res graphics. Um, but all of this can be provisioned um, under View 4. And this is what I like about it. Every piece of the company can handle this. 
So this is a, this is a great slide because what, what we're showing here is that now on my client side, I can either be running one of these. Um, I can run my Samsung screen if I like to. Um, I could be running my software client on a laptop, or maybe I've got an old PC. And my old PC is like one gigahertz or better. Actually, I can run the software client and it looks great. Um, all of this can be connection broken through View 4. Um, and so I can be connected to my uh, tower workstation, or I can be connected through to my virtual machines. So when you log on to View 4, it'll actually come up and say, OK, uh, you know, you're John Smith. Um, I see that you're allowed to log on to this CAD machine, or here are your five VMs. Which one do you want to log on to and use now? Um, and that same person can actually do that from home, or you know, if he's visiting a customer out in the field, he can do exactly the same thing. It's actually very nice. You can actually you peel back all the layers of the onion. Um, but it, you know, that's kind of the last slide I want to show you. You know, I just want to get in your head that Peter right we now can, you know, with View 4, we can actually cope with all, all of the end users. Um, I'm going to show you a hardware demo, uh, show you this stuff in action. Um, I've got, you know, I just want to, uh, you know, see it is believing, really. Uh, so, you know, most customers do like to see, uh, do like to see this stuff in operation. <coughs> I'll try to stay out of the way. No, I don't want to. Um, so, you know, first example, you know, I want to roll PDFs, and you know, if you don't believe me, you know, this this is this is over an RJ45, right? So this is this is genuinely happening. I have this thing plugged into a PC that's just sat on the floor. Um, this can just go across your standing network. Um, so back in my session, oops, I'm trying not to kill power point. Um, and you know, I can just roll and scroll PDFs like. You would normally, as if the PC doesn't do this. Um, okay, so um, here's my HD movie. It's a shame the lights not very good in here, but yeah, you kind of get the idea, right? This is running perfectly okay. Um, again, you know, this is across RJ45. If I stop the image, it's a perfect image. My Mac does what it's supposed to do. Um, okay, great. So um, other problem, other problem. Quick time movies. Classics are a real problem now. Uh, There's our friend Keanu Reeves. Back to save the world again. Took a bit off. Please um, feel. 